Hello, my name is Yannitra Falls and I work for the Athens Institute for Education and Research, which is a world association for academics and researchers. We have started a new initiative of interviewing the participants which attend our many conferences in Athens to present their work. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Irina Gargina from the Financial University under the government of the Russian, um, the Russian Federation. Hello, Dr. Regina. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Athens and welcome to your series of interviews. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for having me here. So, I would like to begin with your presentation at our conference. You present the paper, Harmonization of Regulation as a Driver for International Finance. Tell us a few words about it. Well, thank you for your question. And first of all, I would like uh, to express deep gratitude to the President, uh, George Papanikos, mm -hmm because um, yeah, he is really uh, making a very good job joining us together because we are representatives from different schools, different universities, scientific background, practical background and it helps us greatly to exchange our attitudes, our approaches to understand each other better. Mm -hmm. So it's really great what Athena is doing for us. My presentation was dedicated uh, to the question of uh, the necessity of harmonization. Mm -hmm. The thing is, just uh, we are living in the new global area that is the geo economy, geo finance, geo politics. And to work together, to keep together, it's quite necessary uh, to observe rules, regulations, and to harmonize. Them. Mm -hmm. because we can't even play football if we don't have just equal rules. So, uh, I spoke about, well, just the necessity uh, of uh, the relation within the financial sphere, because it's just the essence of uh, projects, of uh, the development of the economy, mm -hmm. and stressed uh, several points that's worthwhile taking into consideration within cooperation. Okay, thank you. So tell us a few things about yourself, your studies, your career, and whatever else you'd like to add. Uh, just my study uh, mm -hmm. dedicated to banking and finance, uh, graduated and studied in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I had a long period of uh, work within uh, uh, the bank that was the agent, uh, and is still the agent of uh, the government of the Soviet Union and the Russian Federation, uh, within the international affairs, international finance. Uh, the name of the bank is now uh, the Bank for Foreign Economic Cooperation and uh, just before that was the National Bank of the USSR. Then I was invited to the, uh, the uh, international bank uh, that served the needs of uh, the countries of the Central and Eastern Europe mm -hmm. And the participants of the IBEC are the uh, other countries such as Mongolia, Vietnam, and so on and so forth. So, for the whole uh, career, uh, I was in banking and still mm -hmm. in banking, and uh, just on the consultancy base. And at the same time, uh, just um, the professor of the financial university. Uh, after post-graduate uh, uh, study, uh, just uh, the PhD degree in banking insurance and finance, and uh, just uh, the doctorate degree uh, on international banking, international economics, and uh, also involved in consultancy to, to some projects, and actually uh, just within uh, the BRICS project, Mm -hmm. development that is the integrated group within the global environment. So that's it. Okay, thank you. So what is your major current area of research? So it's just uh, banking and finance, finance and okay. economics. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. So tell us about the financial situation in Russia. Uh, and could you in some way compare it to the, the situation in Greece? Well, by all means, was <laughs> So uh, we are developing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the down, uh, our government does a lot well, just uh, to support uh, our entrepreneurs and there are a lot of projects uh, on the basis of public-private partnership. 
and the uh, situation is developing mm -hmm. and uh, people are quite happy that uh, we are just uh, uh, in such kind of uh, uh, situation. Mm -hmm. We consider that it's substantial and uh, well, uh, we are within our integrated group mm -hmm. and uh, there are a lot of uh, um, new plans and challenges. And the most important thing that um, uh, the public institutions uh, just uh, consider uh, that there is a need to support business people mm -hmm. and uh, small and medium enterprises. And, uh, and that's it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so how were you introduced to the Athens Institute for Education and Research? And what made you decide to attend the conference? Uh, well, uh, just as far as the Athena um, Institute, yes. uh, uh, I would like uh, probably to add something. Uh, um, I had the chance mm -hmm. uh, the previous time uh, to be acquainted uh, to the scientific Greek school. Okay. Greeks are presented uh, in different countries and uh, also they are within different uh, scientific mm -hmm. background and schools. And that was the very interesting and very important contribution uh, of uh, uh, the community mm -hmm. uh, just uh, to uh, the researchers so that they give us the possibility to understand what is it there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Athena uh, carries um, uh, such kind of a very uh, important mission just uh, 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 to develop uh, uh, the schools with participation mm -hmm. of uh, Greek scientists mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, to give us also the possibility to exchange ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the status of educational system in Russia? And in your opinion, what are its advantages and what are its disadvantages? So um, actually it's more uh, applied mm -hmm. uh, than before. Uh, still we have a great uh, theoretical background. Uh, just joined to the Bologna principles of education and uh, we also have the, the bachelor, master, postgraduate yes. degree and uh, we have um, the possibility of uh, inviting uh, different professors of invitation from different countries and uh, for example as far as the financial university is concerned we consider that our graduates and they are still within uh, uh, public and private institutions not only in Russia mm -hmm. but all over the world and uh, we try, try and do our best well just to adopt them to what uh, it is going on within the, uh, the global environment to be placed in different uh, financial markets mm -hmm. and uh, to be equal to them. Okay. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.